delving into visual journaling which I'm extremely new to but I think I feel competent enough <laughs> to share uh, my findings so far uh, and um, I don't know uh, I, I keep getting asked uh, about visual journaling a lot and even though I know so little uh, I can at least describe to you what it's about and why I do it. So for starting, uh, for starters, I picked up visual journaling last year, August, because I was at the sea with my family and uh, I kept seeing snippets of other people's mostly written text in their sketchbooks with like an accompanying image and that was very cute to me. I wanted to do some of that as well, uh, simply because I can't sit down and just write. Uh, it feels very strange to be uh, talking to the to the journal itself or at least that was my idea of what a journal should be just sort of like writing like a dear diary today I did this that and the other um so instead I mainly focused on the things that I've taken a photo of or or something that I've seen that has uh, left some sort of impression in me um and I wanted to visualize that while adding like you know a little bit of a little bit of witty remark here and there or some sort of joke or something someone has said uh, and whatever was on my mind at the time but I strictly wanted it to be no pressure and uh, basically just as little text as possible a simple reminder of what happened at that time so that was pretty much my starting point um, from then onwards I haven't really been consistent and I think that's good I don't really um, make it a point to journal all the time or once every month or week or whatever. I simply journal when I feel like it. I often feel like it when I return home to my parents. Uh, one, because it reminds me of the time when I started, but two, also because I can bring my sketchbook with me to uh, lunch coffee with my mom and her friends. And I just enjoy listening to them talk and sort of recapping what has happened recently to me. So I don't I don't have a schedule. I don't like that people feel the need to fill out a page or um, sort of keep a consistency of something like that. I do it purely for fun. It's 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 as if I would be playing or or doodling something purely for myself. That is how I feel about my uh, visual journaling experience. And I also don't even have a, a separate sketchbook for it. I simply do it in my go-to carry-on sketchbook. And uh, I don't I don't even plan to change that ever. Uh, initially, I had this black pencil. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I had this black pencil, and I still do, that I never used. And I was like, Ugh, I don't really care about black. I don't really use it very often in my, um, in my drawing anyway, so might as well use it up. And well, guess what? This black pencil here, here we go. This back pencil here, book focus, is um, uh, Pablo Carandash, uh Ivory Black. It's their more cheaper series. It's not the Luminous. Luminous? I think it's Luminous. It's not that series. It's the more cheaper one. And it, it's very pigmented. I really enjoy it. And I ended up buying five more <laughs> of it for the future of journals because I do enjoy making the journals in black pencil only. Sometimes I've, I've had. Uh, one spread that I did about thrifting um, last year, which I did with the black pencil, but then I added a little bit more color and gloss. I added white, I added red, and some uh, brownish hues. So that's pretty much it. I don't use anything else. I don't like pre sketching or anything. I simply go in only with this black pencil and nothing else. Uh, and 
as for the for the sketchbook, it's still the same sketchbook I always use. It's the it's the Moleskine Art Plus sketchbook with the ivory paper. Um, and and yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. The only negative side to journaling with a pencil is that it smears. Uh, you can go in with um, an eraser later on and sort of like remove all the little smudges that happen when the pages rub uh, with each other. But yeah, that's that's really the only negative for me. I do like how I can create darker shades and lighter shades, obviously because it's a pencil. Um, so yeah. Uh, uh, I would not trade this pencil for the world currently. I, mean, I never know. I mean, maybe tomorrow I decide to use a blue one instead, and then everything is flipped upside down again. So yeah, um, what you're seeing me uh, uh, draw here, well, I can't, I can't really call it, that's sketch. Let's say sketch. What you are seeing me sketch here uh, is is one of the spreads that I did. There was a consecutive, like four or five spreads of this. Uh, of my time in Bulgaria this past spring and for Mother's Day which is the 8th of March for us I bought my mom this massive um, album with 400 photos and since I'm an only child <laughs> thank you dad I have a lot of photos that um, my parents have taken of me and wanted to sort of arrange them all in one place for her because previously we would have them all over the place some of them in, were in boxes and some of them were in these uh, go-to little albums that the, uh, the, the, the photo studios give you the free ones so I wanted to arrange them and I stumbled across a lot of my uh, childhood photos that are very funny, very bizarre. Thanks, Dad, again. <laughs> like a lot of them are me just spacing out, yelling, crying, poking my nose, uh, and other nonsense. Uh, my cute period is up to the age of five, and afterwards, just no. <laughs> but the ones that are of me, of, of younger me, are very adorable. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of the journaling that I did was related to me redrawing myself from that time, from the photos that I've had. Uh, had had taken of me and uh, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm noticing I'm not very good at, at drawing from photos uh, to, to drawing people and the likeliness of people but I don't really mind that I actually like the fact that uh, all of my people kind of look the same <laughs> like no matter what you do they all kind of resemble each other <laughs> we're all made of putty okay um, so yeah, uh, I, I, I think my favorite photo is the one where I'm just about to poke my nose and I'm like in a daze, in a trance <laughs> because of it. Um, so yeah, I hope you, hope you enjoy, enjoy that. Um, what else, what else, what else? I, um, my tips for you are pick something that you found cute in your day. If you want to start journaling for the first time, pick something that you've done today. For instance, uh, this morning I beaded some bracelets, which is one of my <laughs> one of the newest hobbies that I've picked up is beading small um, glass bracelets uh, and making little flowers and whatnot. Um, so I I've been doing that a lot, and I think I want to journal about it. I think I want to write down my thoughts. I want to think. Uh, I want to. I want to draw some of the little the little um, bracelets that I have made and. Uh, Doodle some of that. Just just sit down, do the one thing that you've done today that has uh, been the most fun for you. Maybe you had like a cup of tea with someone. Just draw your cup. Like no fuck, no, 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 don't want to curse. <laughs> no one is gonna criticize that. Just enjoy the the small little things. Sit at your desk. Pick the favorite object you have on the desk. Just draw that and say I love this. That's really enough. It's I promise. Like once. One day when you like flip through the sketchbook and you see this, you're gonna be like, oh, that, that was my favorite uh, cup mug, whatever. Uh, it, I love it so much, I miss it terribly. It was it was gonna be my family heirloom, then the cat knocked it over, it broke, shattered, and everything's doomed now, whatever. So so pick something like that, or maybe you visited somewhere. Um, I went to a little trip to uh, an old revolutionary uh, village called Jerovna in Bulgaria, which deals a lot in uh, tapestry and, and carpets made of wool and I want to absolutely uh, make journal pages about that because it was magical, amazing. I bought one 
uh, and I'm so sad that I didn't buy, buy more for, for, for gifts for friends because I couldn't find them anywhere on the internet afterwards. They're made for, by local women, uh, women there in the in the little village. So yeah, what a bummer. <laughs> but I'm gonna journal about it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I, I, I visualize all of the cute little carpets that I didn't uh, manage to see prior. Uh, that I didn't. Oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> the cute little carpets that I didn't uh, manage to buy. Um, what else? You can you can journal about pretty much anything. You can journal your favorite song. Like write down your song. If you pick a lyric that just sounds meaningful and interesting and pure, just draw something to accompany it. It's amazing. It's really fun. I it, there's no restrictions. Um, some people sometimes tell me that my my page layout is so good or whatever that it's um, very arranged, aesthetically pleasing. Uh, it's not. I don't care that much about it. I pick a space, I doodle, and then I try to fill out the space around it, be it with some text, be it with smaller, bigger letters, uh, different fonts. I just experiment a little bit. I like adding small like notes, uh, like drone notes, to fill in extra gaps. And even if you don't fill up the whole page, it's irrelevant. The point is to have this sort of memory collection in one place and and to enjoy doodling these things without putting too much pressure on yourself a tip i can give you is don't sketch just whatever you write whatever mark you leave on the paper do not erase it do not go afterwards over it with something else just enjoy the rawness of the experience the rawness of this uh visualizing of everything that's on your mind at the time I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I hope that um, this sort of explains a little bit more about the process that I have uh, and it get, gets you all pumped up to try journaling for yourself because it's super fun and it makes for great uh, conversation pieces if you ever let someone uh, go through your sketchbook. So yeah, um, thanks for joining me on this massive ramble. I, I, I'm gonna make sure to edit this nicely so it's not too long, but I hear people like these um, being a little bit long, so who knows, you know, not, not making any promises. So for now, goodbye, and I hope you journal some. Maybe you'll join me next time, maybe we journal together live or something like that, or maybe I'll, I'll make another video with some... I don't want to say tips and tricks because it's neither here nor there, that's not a thing that I do, but um, with some ideas. Okay, bye!